Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 11 of this series already. Let me see where we last, what we last did. We were busy finishing off this wall over here. Um, so I think my last title was that we finished the wall, but it's not true. We're going to wait for the dolmen to be finished and for the rest of the wall to be finished before we do anything else. So let's speed up the game. At the moment we have 24 sheep and 16 goats, so that's fine. I think we can build some more housing for more people, but at the moment it is 22, so that's fine. We also need to save up our knowledge points for the copper smelting to advance to the copper age. Okay, that's all fine. I also need to keep an eye on the straw. Um, I don't have an extra thingy over here, but the straw should remain stable and otherwise we need to um, have more fields. <clears throat> but I have the impression it's already past midwinter and there are still some crops on the field. So we definitely need more people. Uh, I think the food is very stable at the moment. We are not losing, we're not gaining. Uh, we have some extra fields that were not used yet. And the dolmen is finished. So we have extra graves, 10, capacity of 10, so that's nice. And here we have a nice view like this in the winter with the dolmen finished, the bridge and the little settlement in the background. So we have enough logs, so I don't know why they aren't finishing off this. And we need an extra manor. Do we have one? Or a megalith. This one is carved, so let's prepare for transport. I think over here we can also create a platform. Cave line attack. Oh, it was on a child. What was she doing over here? I guess it was that line that was attacking don't know why she was all the way up there, but it's fine. And let me check for a platform. Defense-wise, the platform is better, but looks-wise, I like the watchtower more. This old female boar just wandering in, minding her own business. Now panicking a little bit, trying to get out. Let's hunt. In real life they can be dangerous, these uh, boars. <laughs> She's not able to get out. Let's speed up the game again. Trader has arrived. We have enough sheep. We have enough of everything as far as I know. Maybe some linen cloth could be useful. And we can trade it for... Some straw, some red, some bone spears, and let's take a pulse. No, oh, the dry fit is adding two instead of one, so it's fine like this. They will make a little bit of profit, but that's the point of a trader. He's wandering around to make profit. No dog died. 
So let's put you at the top. We have the well. I think everything is set up fine. We can house 40 animals. And we have 38 at the moment, so things are looking good. Now we not, just need to wait until our population is increasing. Workload is too high because of spring and a lot of fields need to be planted and we don't have any oxen to plow the fields. That will come later on. Um, here, plowing. And then we can use some cattle for the plowing but that will take a while. Also the donkey does domestication will be nice for the wheel and the cart so we can uh, Transport goods much faster and much more of them at the same time. At the moment the sledges are used, but I have the impression that we don't have enough of them. One spare one here. Here's nothing. One spare one over there. Someone left this one behind. I prefer they will hang it to the transport post the Talman is getting used okay and the men here or the megalith is also being moved to the city hmm I think over here this space I will mainly use for... Uh, I don't know. Unfortunately it's always too small the space that you have. Maybe I will build an extra hut over here. Something like this. And we just need to wait for the knowledge points and the people to arrive. I was checking the pregnancies, five. Okay. There was a totem here. I was thinking to put something for morale here, but they can use those over there. In the crafter we are at the moment creating still bone spears because these are the best ones. I can take the flint ones as well because... Okay, blind attack. That's not good. This lion killed a young female sheep. Gave us some resources, that's fine. Ah, uh, because there is still... This is still not finished, oh, okay. So I think with that last part, the vault is sealed and no more lines can enter that way. So extra houses being created over there. This will also give us some knowledge points. Not very straight, in my opinion. Hopefully it won't fall. Later on I will, will replace this one with a nicer looking one, in my opinion. And that is... This one, the statue. Then it has some stone carvings. Uh, looks much better, but you will see that when we replacing this one. So let's take the meat, because we noticed some wild animals will uh, be attracted. She, she already has a linen cloth. 
that we have enough wool cloth we have enough but the linen is this already harvested or didn't they they didn't plant it those in spring strange I missed that We definitely need more people, so waiting for more people to arrive. We can feed them. And apparently those cave lions like to spawn in the middle of our village. Strange. We didn't have any um, radar attacks this time around, so also fine. They should also be fine because one sheep should be slaughtered. There it is. Apparently it was in the bottom corner of the screen. Now I'm wondering how many dogs that we have. Manage more seven in total. It's not that much, but doable. What I also can do is build an extra stable for pigs, but I think the workload at the moment is too high to do that. Um, Yeah, I will wait on that. Uh, the pigs can wait. I will keep this open space for some uh, metal building workshops and etc. The melting I will do outside, but the creation of the spears and the swords and shields and etc. I will try to do inside the settlement. I found it very strange that the flex did not happen. Let's make sure that we are still creating those leather outfits, so that's fine. But I would prefer these linen outfits. And let's also keep an eye on the on the flex this time around. Is this flex, yeah, flex that they will plant the flex and harvest the flex because I think one field is one flex one flex will turn into one linen cloth and one linen cloth will turn into two linen outfits so this is one two three four four by four sixteen sixteen thirty two each year can be made hmm Could use a little bit more than that. But again, I'm afraid that we cannot. Ah, more people arrived. But I'm still afraid that we don't have enough people to work the fields in spring. Uh, but uh, anyway, I will put some extra field out here. And as soon as we have problems with our food, I will put some extra uh, pills or chickpeas lentils, stuff like that. Uh, but at the moment we need to flex more. So something like this large field. Ah, these milestones. These milestones are some things that we need to consider and need to have a look at. I think one of them is having 250 people in our settlement. Uh, and I will end the series when we have all these milestones completed, but at the moment I will show you the milestones. So build 10 totems, build 6, six standing stones, reach population of 100, reach population of 250, reach the domestic 
domesticate animal population of 100 and build two stone circles. So when we have done all this, the episode will be over. We have a raider attack, so let's uh, decide. Let's call everyone in. Luckily it was during the winter and not during spring. Sally out. Okay, very nice. Didn't lose anything. No damage was done. Maybe to our palisade over here, but even that was fine. And I think since most of the radar attacks are happening here, I will build an extra watchtower. Here, just to defend. Let's speed up the game again. Almost spring. And we can advance to the Copper Age. Didn't notice that one. So let's do that. It's highly recommended to fortify your settlement that we already have done. We have enough people and we have enough weapons as far as I know. But we will immediately start creating extra weapons if we can so now with this new age we can build some copper mines then we need to melt these one to ignats copper ignats and these those we can all kinds of knowledge points those we can um, forge weapons with like axes swords but also the pickaxe and all other nice stuff Let's keep a clo close eye on the planting before we do the copper things that we have. So at the moment they will... Ah, oh, there are rows of 5x5, five five, so just 25. 25. Oof, then we can create 100 linen cloths each. each summer or each season that's maybe too much but those we can use then as trade material so i guess it's also fine but now they planted the flex mid spring they're doing the other fields. Okay. Some sledge was left behind. No worries, we can house up 20 more people. Trader has arrived. So for the moment we will not buy anything. Yeah, don't think we need anything, no. I will buy something small like flour and you can have one to cure meat. Okay. <clears throat> I think the copper mines are over here and we need those cane. No, I don't know what the color name is of that. Uh, but anyhow, this color we need. So we will start off with one copper mine, this one. And if there's another one close by. Over there. Yeah. We will take two in total. A flint mine. So two over there. Then it would make more sense to store them here. Let's not do that. Um, I think over here is a little bit better. Just because of 
the space that we have. So let's cut down some trees. Like this. All fields were planted. Nice. Some harvest was already being done. First animal deer, we didn't... Ah, yeah. Probably they are only now available in the Copper Age. And I think the mammoth went extinct and other animals went extinct. A lot of wolves are attacking, but we're dealt with. So on this positive note, we can end the episode here. Here is the deer that we hunted. Let's butcher it, all the, the meat out of it. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. If you didn't like the content, feel free to leave this like. Next time we will build our Copper Age related buildings and I will see you boys and girls next time.